Well, the countdown is on, just three weeks to go until the municipal election. Campaign signs are now up all over the city. Some say they're an eyesore, others say they can guarantee a win. Samir Hussein joins us live right now with more on the race for sign space. Samir. Well, Mohammed, I spent a few hours in Ward 18 today. Now, that's the Ward of Davenport. It's one that's really hotly contested, so candidates there wasted no time putting out campaign signs. After catching a few hours of rest, the bias campaign is hitting the streets again. To actually physically have signs on lawn is very visual and, and uh, attracts people in a way that uh, they haven't been attracted to the municipal campaign so far. She was like other candidates across the GTA who were putting up campaign signs just as soon as they could. What every campaign wants to do is establish a presence early and then we'll continue to build the, build the numbers as the rest of the campaign goes by. Candidate Frank DeYoung has got more than 600 signs ready for a lawn near you. One of his volunteers spent all morning delicately navigating the streets. So if you're not competitive in the sign war, it gives a really in, a close indicator of how much support you have. In a ward like this one, with 12 people running for council and no incumbent, competition to get even space for a sign can get pretty heated. But how does that translate into actual votes? Experience tells us there's no correlation between how many signs are up and how many votes you're going to get. Stevie Tiki is an expert on municipal politics. Although candidates put a lot of emphasis on signs, it doesn't always translate to votes or even support. I think that uh, um, a sign on a lawn does not even necessarily mean that the occupant of that uh, home or residence is supporting that candidate. Turns out he may be right. Please come in my door and talk to me. Yeah, okay, okay, go ahead. Do you know that who you're going to vote for at this election? I don't know for sure, not for him. <laughs> well, you know, and the challenge is for those candidates that are running for a municipal council is they don't really have that many options in terms of trying to get their name out. So we can expect for the next few weeks in the, on the streets of wards like Davenport, they will be littered with campaign signs. Reporting live from downtown Toronto, I'm Samira Hussein. All right, thank you, Samira.